Hi, this is Van Simons, Post Wall Idaho. Um, wanted to give you a quick look at my extended wing option for the Xena 701. I've extended this area 16 inches. This is number 6, which was the last rib on the original wing. I've added 15 inches plus an inch to, so I could have another set of holes out here for the wing tip. It's uh, 385 millimeters between station number six and station number seven. So I had to make a piece of webbing. I also changed out my spar caps to structural three quarter by three quarter, 60, 61 angle. So same size, just a little heavier, a little stronger. Um, to tie the two pieces of webbing together, I made this doubler. Uh, the Split in it is right between the sets of holes, so I'll have two sets of ribbon on each side, and then it's tied into the spark caps. So that's what that's going to look like. Once it all gets done, everything is ready to rivet now. So another modification you have to do is you have to enlarge the doubler. The old doubler ends here and here. So the old one across the top is 630 millimeters. The new one is 820 millimeters. So, um, the attachment point for the struts originally is here. I didn't change that, but you can see how much bigger it is than the original because the edge of the doubler ended right at the angle iron that bolts here. I'm using a piece of one inch by one inch here instead of three quarter just to give me a little more bolting service for the wing strut, strut attachment. So, that is my extended nose with wing option for the Xena 701 and I'm also going playing around with some uh, rib ideas this is a rib that I've drawn up it's uh, a droop nosed rib and uh, it has the same profile of the original wing plus the slat it's been enlarged a little bit and uh, has a, a little bit of a droop in it so that's all I got for now. As soon as I get some more done, I will post another video. Thanks.